Now let us talk about the second type of collection that we have got in Apex and which is sets. So set is similar to list but the property, the two properties that we had in list are a little different when it comes to set. So let me explain it to you uh, what are those two properties. Number one, the elements that we store in list are stored in an unordered format. Whereas in list, the elements that we used to store were stored in an ordered format. So like it doesn't matter whether the, uh, like the element which you stored first is onto the first place or onto the next place or some other place. It can be stored anywhere in the set. So the first property is again, the elements that are stored in set are, in, are stored in an unordered format. The second and the most important property of set is that in set, the elements or the values that we store are unique. Whereas in list, it was non-unique. So if we'll try to store the same value again in the set, it will not like store the new value inside it. So in set, the main two properties are the elements are stored in an unordered format and the elements that we store inside the set are unique. Let me create a simple diagram to explain you that how the information or the data or the values get stored into the set. So I'm, I'm going to create a set in uh, over here. So imagine this is a set, right? So if you want to like, uh, if you want to store, like imagine this is a uh, set of integers, you, you want to store different, different integers into the set. So if you want to store two inside it, the two will be stored over here like this. Okay, let me just divide the set. So two will be stored over here, can be stored over here or it can be stored somewhere else as well. Now, if you will try to store four into it, it can be stored over here. Now, if we'll try to store six into it, it can be stored over here. So as you can see that in this particular set, the, uh, like, the order is not maintained. So that is the main uh, purpose of set. That uh, if you want to store the elements where order doesn't matter at all, then in that case, you're going to use set as a collection instead of list. And the second property is, if you'll try to store two or four again uh, in this list, and if that value or element is already in existence into that particular set, then it will not store the new value. So if I'm going to, I'll try to store two again in set, it will not store two because two is already in existence over here in this particular set. Whereas in list, it was different. In list, if we'll try to store two again, it will store because the values that are stored in list are non-unique and in set, they are unique. Now you have completely understood that when and uh, yeah, when to use set or what exactly set is as a collection. Now let me explain you that how you can actually create a set in an Apex program and use it. So here is a simple example of the syntax that we need to uh, like write down in order to create a set. So uh, let's have a look. So yeah, This is the syntax now. So over here, it's uh, if you can see set. So set is a class in Apex. And then you have in the angular brackets, you have to write down data type. It's again similar to the uh, list class where uh, like list is a generic class in which the elements or the type of elements or the type of data that we want to store, we need to write down the data type of that data. So if you want to store integer values into a set, you have to write down set and then inside the angular brackets, you have to write down integer. If you want to store uh, accounts, then you have to write down account into the angular bracket. So it's exactly similar uh, as it was in lists. Then you have to write down S, uh, yeah, over here I've written down S. Uh, it's, a, it's just a variable which is going to refer this particular set and then new set data type and then parenthesis open and then parenthesis close. This is what you have to write down and this will create a new set and it will assign it to S variable, yeah, S, S reference variable which is of this particular type only. Let's create a set of integers. So in here I've written a program in which I have like created a set of integer to create a set of integer I'll write down set and then inside the angular brackets I'll write down integer and then I'll write down s1 so s1 is the like reference variable that I've, I'm using to refer this particular set and after that I've written down new set and then integer and then parenthesis open and parenthesis close so this let me explain you what this complete statement will do so it's gonna first uh, like create a reference variable which will hold the reference uh, to the set and we have labeled it as S1. And then uh, it will create a set like this. And uh, like the reference variable of this particular set will be assigned to this S1 reference variable. And uh, the set, like this particular set which we have created over here is gonna store integer values. And to add those integer values, this is what we have to do. 
again that add method which is there in lists so if uh, in here i'll write down s1 dot add two it's gonna store two in this particular set so two can be stored anywhere because the elements that are stored in set are unordered and then we'll write down four so four uh, we can, like it can store four on the like topmost place or any any place no there's no index there's no position there's no order in set and then we'll write down s1 dot add uh, six over here and the six is gonna store over here and then after that four so again like have a look we are trying to add the value which we added earlier as well which is four it's not gonna store four into this particular set because the elements that are stored in the set are unique so yeah this is how basically you can create a set of integers and add the values in that particular set there is one more syntax uh, with the help of which we can create a set and simultaneously add the values in that particular set and here it is so first we need to create set integer s2 it's gonna create a reference variable s2 which is gonna store the reference of that particular set and then we need to create a new set of integers so uh yeah we, we're gonna create a new set of integers which, which is gonna have uh the values uh the values uh, like what i mean by values is the values which you want to store into that particular set so in this case it is two four six four and this complete statement is exactly similar to this complete statement or these uh, like four five statements so there's no difference so what we are doing over here is we are storing two four six four uh, values into this particular set at the end there are gonna, like there are going to be only three values which, which are going to store into this particular set so up till now we have only created a set of integers but now we will also create a set of string and it's like there's nothing different in that so uh set of string so inside the angular brackets i just have to write down string as a data type and it's going to create a reference variable s3 which is going to store uh, a new like a set a reference to the set which will store string values so this is how i can create a set of string new set string and after that inside the curly braces i just have to uh, like specify the string values that i want to store in this particular set so in this case uh, what i've written down over here is this is how so this is one string is is another string how is another string we another string do another string and it another string so the all these string values are unique right so there's there, there are gonna be total six string values that will be stored in this particular set so yeah that that's what it is so you understand what is set you understand how to write a set in an apex program of different different types remember that you can also create set of s objects and what i mean by s object is account contacts like any custom object that you have created so in sets the values are uh, like the values which are stored uh, stored inside it are unique so how will we identify or how will we determine the uniqueness of s objects that we are planning to store inside a set so there are two account records the re like the reference of both the account records are stored into different different reference variables a a1 is one uh, like which refers to another account record and a2 refers to another account record we are storing both of those account records inside a set so how it's going to identify that which one uh, like which two accounts are unique and which two accounts uh, are like not unique so there is a simple methodology or uh, like a concept that you have to understand that how apex as a programming language determines the uniqueness of s objects and this is exactly what we're going to discuss over here in this program so have a look in this program what i've done is i've created a set uh, of account so set of account is nothing but uh, yeah basically it's gonna it's, it's again a collection set collection which is going to store account records into it or account uh, s objects into it and i've uh, like specified the reference variable as set and then the new set account like this and now what i'm doing is i'm creating different different account uh, like account s objects instances so there are four of them over here a1 a2 a3 and a4 so account a1 is equals to new account name is equals to amazon so the name field in that this account s object is amazon the number of employees field is 20000 getting it and similarly we have created another account s object so you can see we are creating two accounts in here 
because we are using new again and again and we are assigning the reference variable or the reference of both these accounts to different different reference variables a1 and a2 and this account also has uh, like this account has the name value set as walmart and the number of employees value set as 20000 getting it and then account a3 is again a new account which has the name as amazon and number of employees as 20000 getting it and the fourth one is a4 which has uh, like where we are creating a new account as object where name is equals to amazon so in here if we'll add like in s set if we'll add a1 a2 a3 and a4 what do you think all the four records or all the four s objects will be added or uh, like some of them are like uh, uh, like similar or uh, like any one of them are duplicate in here but because we have created different completely different s object in here because whenever we use new and we use account uh, constructor of that particular s object a new s object gets created so what do you think like there, will there be four account records with, which will be added into this particular set or there will be only three because the fields value in this s object a3 and a1 are similar so the thing is uniqueness of s objects is defined based on like is basically defined on the values that are stored inside the field of that particular object so when it comes to account there are two fields which we are using in here name and number of employees both of the values which are stored into these fields are same for a1 and a3 so according to apex the uniqueness is defined onto the field values of that particular s object so these two are duplicate a1 and a3 are duplicate no matter if there are two different s objects but the values which the fields have uh, for like in both the account records are same and if all the values in the fields uh, of both the s objects are same like these two records will be considered as duplicate in apex but you must be thinking that okay shrey the field values are same for a1 and a3 amazon and amazon and number of employees 20000 and 20000 but in a4 as well we have got the name as amazon number of employees is not there so it, it should not compare that so let me tell you what is happening over there in a4 the number of employees is set as null so that is what make what is making this s object unique in this particular set so that's the reason we'll have a1 into this set a2 into this set because the name is different obviously and a4 as uh, like a4 is will also be stored into this particular set because the number of employees uh, field is set to null which makes this s object unique so at the end uh, like uh, at the end of uh, this like these four steps s set dot add a1 a2 a3 a4 uh, will have three records and that we can identify with the method uh, size so if we'll call s set dot size it's going to return three because there are only three s objects which are stored into this particular set and that's how you need to identify or basically apex identifies uh, the uniqueness of s objects in while you're storing them in a set so to explain this concept to you in a like in a detail format i'll create a simple diagram in here let's have a look so what what, what i'm doing over here is i'm creating a reference variable which is gonna store a reference of a set which will which will actually store account objects record in here right in the form of s object because obviously the records in uh, apex are accessed as a you know like in the in the form of s objects so when uh, I, I'm, I'm creating this a1 and then i'm storing new account amazon number of employees a new record is getting stored in here uh, yeah or a new s object is getting stored in here this one is s set a new record is getting stored over here in this particular uh, set uh, which can be stored anywhere where the name is amazon and uh, comma the number of employees is 20000 so whenever we try to store another uh, s object in here it compares that the the values which we are storing in this particular set are already in existence or not so uh, if we'll try to store walmart and then number of employees is 20000 it's going to store walmart in here like this because the name is different it's going to store it over here simply no matter if the other field is same 
but one field uh, one field's value is different right so it's going to store walmart but when we'll try to store the a31 it'll see that amazon with 20000 is already stored into this particular set over here so it's not going to store it because it will not con like it will consider a3 as duplicate which is already in existence into that particular set and when we'll try to store this a4 where the name fields value is set to amazon it's going to store it like this it's going to store it like this because simple amazon is not stored into this particular set amazon is there but with 20000 as a value set for number of employees field so that makes this a4 unique into this particular set and in this set as we can see there are three s objects which are stored at the end